What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? I had to come back on here because the breakfast club done pissed me off again. They done did it again. The breakfast club has struck again. <sighs> so I just watched an interview with Dr. Carl Hart, the guy that's been in the media all week about um, the use of heroin and his use of heroin, right? And from what I get out of the, in the conversation is he was taken out of context. He was uh, taken way out of context. And this guy's not like just coming around. He's been around because I did a little bit of research on him. And this guy been talking this talk for, for years, right? But the thing about the Breakfast Club that, that ticked me off again, they always get on there and they say they're not bashing or judging. But that's exactly what they are doing. And, and I like Charlemagne. I really do like Charlemagne. But I expected more out of him in this interview than I got from him. Believe it or not, Angela Yee was the more level-headed person in the interview. She was the more, the one with the most, the more open mind. And usually I would think it was Charlemagne. And the whole interview was like, they was putting words in the man's mouth. Yeah, it was like, the, I'm gonna tell you what I got out of the interview. The, in, what I got out of it is this man was talking to grown adults who are already doing drugs and he wanted to teach them a safer way to do it. That's what I got out of it. He even said it. And what Charlemagne kept saying is, well, we just, instead of saying this, shouldn't you be telling people to be clean? Man, you know, grown people gonna do what grown people gonna do. They gonna do it. You can't make nobody be clean. If somebody want to do drugs, they're going to do drugs. But the man kept trying to say, this is what I'm trying to teach. I'm trying to teach safety. I'm trying to teach you how to do this in a safe way. That's what I got out of it. But they kept making it seem like the man telling people to go out and do drugs. DJ Envy, oh, oh God, you know how he is. He just gets slower and slower every day, seeming like to me. But... He was like, would you tell your children to do drugs? The man was like, I ain't telling nobody to do nothing. They already doing it. <laughs> I, I just don't get it. It's like, y'all not listening. Y'all want what y'all saying to be right. But you're not listening to what this man saying in the whole interview. The only one was Angela Yee. This man is a professor. Now... This man was a, prof a professor at Yale. And then they kept saying, well, has the college uh, reached out to you about your drug use? The man said he not using drugs like that. <laughs> he basically said the reason he got into uh, doing drugs was to do research. And, and for him to do his research, he wanted to experience every level of what the drug could do. And that's why he was doing it. Now, he's not saying that he don't do drugs, but they're trying to make him seem like a crackhead. And that's what Charlamagne kept saying, too. The man was talking about heroin. He kept saying, well, I know a lot of crackheads. That's different. I don't get what they didn't understand about it. And so I went in the comment section of the uh, Breakfast Club video, and people were like, this man is a piece of trash. Get him out of here. Uh, another person said, how can he tell anybody to do drugs? The man ain't telling people to do drugs. He's saying he's talking to the people who are already doing it. So I don't get why people just don't understand. Like, I just didn't get it. It ticked me off. That's why I'm out here talking about it. Because they didn't have an open mind. And then, the thing too. I went and looked at Joe Rogan podcast and learned so much more about what this guy was saying. <laughs> The environment was calm. He was able to uh, really get his thoughts out. And Joe Rogan did one thing. He listened. That's what he did. He listened. And the man was able to go into a lot of other conversation. I believe that, that um, podcast is probably about three hours. And, and it was only an hour on the Breakfast Club, an hour of bashing. That's what I took from it. It's like when people come on there who have a different perspective or have an idea that may be a little bit off-centered, 
they don't want to hear that. They just want to push one narrative, the narrative that the whole media been pushing, instead of listening to what the man's saying. It pissed me off. It ain't take me off. It pissed me off. Listen to what the man's saying. That's all you got to do. And it kept saying, well, if you're telling people to do drugs, the man kept saying, hey, I'm not telling nobody to do nothing. He said, if you look in the first sentence of my book, I'm not promoting drugs. I just don't get it. Like, the Breakfast Club could get these rappers on here, and they could talk about, oh, yeah, I got this bag, and, you know, I was in the streets. And they go along with that all day. You get somebody with a different point of view, just saying something different, they want to bash them, bash these rappers. They ain't saying nothing. If anything, they promoting drug use, but y'all don't say nothing about that. Y'all don't say nothing about that. <laughs> I just, I had to get that off my chest because they really ticked me off. You go look at that interview, it's like when they first came on there, Charlemagne said something that put the guy on defense. I'd have been on defense too because y'all are promoting a narrative that I didn't say. Y'all presenting something that I'm not even presenting. You present what the media presenting. So that's what ticked me off about it. I don't know. Go back and look at the difference in the interviews. Look at the Breakfast Club interview and then look at Joe Rogan interview. I bet you'll have a different take. You'll see the difference of the body language and all. But that's the Breakfast Club. <laughs> and they say the world's most dangerous morning show. It was dangerous this morning because y'all pushed a false narrative. And I ain't appreciate it. So if y'all just take the time to listen. And like I say, I don't normally agree with Angela Yee in interviews. But she was on today. I really think that she was the most level head of one and that's probably because she did drugs before so you gonna look at it and let me know what you think peace